I'm Speaker Wabi, and I am a puppetry artist. Hi friends, I'm Karen Ortred, and I'm a theatre maker. We're teaching artists at Flushing Town Hall, where we believe in global arts for global kids. We're excited to welcome you back to our second series where we explore toy theater together. In our last video, we make puppets and sinking bubbles for our toy theater. Today, we are going to make scenery for it. Get the following material ready. Scenery tells the audience where the characters are. Sometimes you only have to give them a little clue and then the audience can imagine the whole picture. For example, a yellow circle on the black backdrop. Right away, you know it's a moon in the night sky. How about this? A blue backdrop with a green triangle. Can you tell what it is? I'm putting a bunch of rectangles together. You can see very easily it's a city. If I want to emphasize it's a New York City, I have to put some landmark in. For example, I can put Empire State Building right here. And I can add a Statue of Liberty. Scenery can be in the background, but sometimes it can be in the foreground. Background and foreground scenery helps create different layers in your stage and this creates a 3D effect. For example, Scenery can also be used to create atmosphere or how you want the audience to feel. For example, a collage of newspapers looks very informative. Look at how this tin foil make you feel. How about a piece of fabric with rainbow colors on it? Instead of draw the tree, we can also use the real tree. How about use some Christmas tinsel for the grass? Looks pretty good, right? You've probably noticed that we've used material other than paper here. In modern toy theatre, puppeteers often use different materials to create their scenery and sometimes even their puppets. How to manipulate the scenery pieces? Well, a background like this, you can just slide it in and slide it out. But if you want to keep it in the background for the whole show, we can use a piece of tape. Let's make a loop. So we got double size or sticky, and we can put it in here. Make another one. Make a loop. 
put it here and then we can put it right in the middle and push it and then it will be here for the whole show and for a moving piece like the foreground for example my windows are uh, because the way to move it in and out during the show and sometimes it had to stand by itself so I glue my window frame on a piece of thicker wider cardboard and then uh, I also think about because I have to move it so I don't want to use my hand to hold the window frame so I make an extension on the button so I can move them in and out so you're gonna glue all these pieces together and it will be like this so I can move it in and move it out without showing my hand thank you for joining us today keep exploring different ways of making scenery and share with your friends and family don't forget to check out our activity sheet for more fun with toy theater and we'll see you tomorrow when we show you how to perform your very own toy theater. Sai Chian!